There were several pelicans basking in the sun. One third of the pelicans were brown, and the rest were white. After some of the brown pelicans flew away, only two-sevenths of the remaining pelicans were brown. After some of the white pelicans flew away, the fraction of the pelicans that were white turned to two-thirds. If the difference between the number of brown pelicans that flew away and the number of white pelicans that flew away was six, how many brown pelicans were basking in the su sun originally? It's a fairly challenging middle school slash high school word problem involving fractions, even though it is challenging, but it can be solved without using any kind of variables or algebra. It's essentially an arithmetic problem. I'm going to solve the problem visually. So if you want to try the problem on your own, you want to pause the video right now. Here I have the same question, original question in smaller font and a picture. In my picture, I have uh, the rectangle, the entire rectangle represents the pelicans. And according to the question, one third of the pelicans were brown. That's why I have one strip. That represents one third of the pelicans. That's brown. The brown strip represents the brown pelicans. And that implies two thirds of the pelicans must have been white. So the white strip represent the two thirds of the white, uh, two thirds of the pelicans, uh, which were white. Now what we're going to do is we're going to work on this line after, after some of the brown pelicans flew away. After some of the brown pelicans flew away, only two-sevenths of the remaining pelicans were brown. How do we handle that line? It's a very important line. Now you have to understand some of these brown pelicans, some of these brown pelicans are flying away. And after the brown pelic, some of the brown pelicans are gone, if you consider all the leftover pelicans, two-sevenths of those will be brown. But this brown strip is going to change. So it's hard to draw my picture here. But if two-sevenths of the remaining pelicans are brown, I can infer that five-sevenths of the remaining pelicans must be white. And since the white pelicans don't change here, only the brown ones are flying away, I am going to divide the whole rectangle into five equal parts and I'm going to tell you why that's a good choice. So let me go ahead and do that. So I'm going to cut the whole thing into five equal parts and why? Because I know after the brown pelicans are gone, the white pelicans must represent five sevenths. So this is one seventh of the remaining pelicans two-sevenths of the remaining pelicans, three-sevenths of the remaining pelicans, four-sevenths of the remaining pelicans, five-sevenths of the remaining pelicans. Well, I need seven-sevenths, so six-sevenths, seven-sevenths. So this must be, this must be the brown pelicans that flew away. These are gone. Now take a look at it. If these brown pelicans, excuse me, if these brown pelicans are gone, then clearly, this represents two-sevenths of what's left. And that's a clever strategy that we're, we used to cut the whole rectangle into five equal parts. Five coming from five-sevenths of the w pelicans were white from that statement, which is not in the question, but it can be inferred. So this chunk is gone. What we have done is we have removed one of the chunks of the brown strip because those are the brown pelicans that flew away. And what I was left with, or what we were left with, is two sevenths of the pelicans were brown, five sevenths of the pelicans were white. Now, some of the white pelicans are going to fly away. And what happens then? This is what we are working on. After some of the white pelicans flew away, the fraction of the pelicans that were white was two-thirds. Once again, some of these pelicans, some of these white pelicans are going to fly away now. Okay? Some of these 
white pelicans will fly away and after some of these white pelicans fly away only two-thirds of the remaining pelicans would be white from that I can infer one-third of the remaining pelicans would be browns and that tells me this must be one third of the remaining pelicans this is a very important step and you want to make sure you get it this must from the brown, uh, green underlined line I can infer that this has to be one-third of the remaining birds if the white portion after some of the white birds fly away white pelicans fly away the white portion should be two-thirds so that means the brown portion has to be one-third I'm going to write one-third here. Well, if this is one-third, this has to be two-thirds. Because one-third plus one-third is two-thirds. So that tells me these two parts represent the two pieces or two chunks of white pelicans that fly away. What I have here is the two parts of the white pelicans that flew away and one part of the brown pelicans that flew away. And we are going to finally do a little bit of math to get to our main um, part of our question uh, and get to our answer actually. If the difference if the difference between the number of brown pelicans that flew away and the number of white pelicans that flew let me change the it's the thickness of my line was was too much it was too thick so let's try it now. If the difference between the number of brown pelicans that flew away and the number of white pelicans that flew away was six, how many brown pelicans were there originally in the sun? So these are the white pelicans. White white brown okay so these are the white pelicans this chunk represents brown pelican the difference between the two groups is six so that tells me each box must represent six pelicans you really have to understand this the difference between the white pelicans that flew away and the brown pelicans that flew away is six that means the difference between the boxes is the difference between two and one is one box and therefore one box must represent six pelicans and if that's the case how many brown pelicans were there originally if each box represents six 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 and the six that flew away So, my final answer is 5 times 6, or 30. Originally, there were 30 brown pelicans basking in the sun. That's my answer, 30. If you're wondering what pelicans look like, that's what they look like. Uh, the one on the right-hand side is the brown pelican, and the one on the left-hand side is the white pelican. And you can f see them, among other places, you can see them in Florida. They're very common in, uh, on the coastal side of Florida.